Once upon a time, there was a king with four wives. One day, the king got sick and was on his deathbed. Afraid of being in the afterlife alone, he asked his four wives, which he loved the most, and bought her diamond, gold, and elegant clothing. He asked her, "Would you go with me to the afterlife?" The four wives replied, "I'm sorry." I can't do that. He also loved his third wife. He was very proud of her and always saw her off to neighboring kingdoms. So he called his third wife and asked, "Would you accompany me to the afterlife?" The third wife replied, "I love you, honey, but I love my life too much, and I'm sorry I can't go with you. But when you die, I'm going to remarry." His second wife has always been there for him in time of need. So he asked his second wife, "Would you accompany me to the afterlife?" The second wife then replied, "I'm sorry that I can't help you out this time, but what I can do is I will arrange your funeral and I will be there for you for your funeral." A voice called out and said, "I will live with you and follow you wherever you go." Even it if to the absolute life, the king looked and found out, and it was his first wife. But this was the wife that he took care of the least. He never took care about her. He always take care the most of the other wives. He feels so embarrassed, and he said, "I'm sorry. I should take care of you more than this. I should give you more attention when I was alive." And that is the end of the story. But I'm gonna tell you this: the moral of this story is that we all have four wives. Our fourth wife is our body. We like to decorate it with nice jewelry, nice clothing. But in the end, it can follow us to the after life. The third wife represents to our possession. We spend so much time trying to gather possession, but in the end. They cannot follow us. The second why is our friends and family. We trust them. They are there for us in a time of need. But for us, can only go with us is go to our funeral and send us off. Here is the word important to you. Is the first why. The first why represent to our soul. We usually neglect taking care of our soul. That is the thing that will follow us to the after life. Care for your body, keep it healthy, enjoy your possession, and the comfort they provide. Cherish your friend and family for the love they provide. But don't forget to take care of your soul, nourish your soul. Take time to be alone. Take time to pray. Take time to meditate because it is the source of all of your life and your most faithful friend. I hope the story can help you and somebody you love. Thanks for supporting the pop channel. Please share it to your loved one. Thank you.